All right, I've got visuals for people who have no idea what I'm talking about. I hope this helps. So, we're starting with Martin Luther. He was the catalyst for the 16th century Protestant Reformation. Lutheranism, obviously, that's him. Calvinism, Anglicism, Anabaptism, Anti-Trinitarian. Okay, now let's see. Primary religion in some of these countries. Okay, so Lutheranism, Scandinavian countries like Norway, Netherlands. Oh, okay. Calvinism. That's your Puritans, your Quakers, your Huguenots. Huguenots being French Puritans, okay? Anglicanism, that's the Church of England. Follow me here. Anabaptists, that's your Amish Mennonite. Remember I made that connection with a couple of serial killers, right? Anti-Trinitarians, those are going to be your Latter-day... Oh, you like my typo? Latter-day Saints. Latter-day Saints. Jehovah... I, mean, I can't spell today. Okay, so Jehovah Witnesses. He was also the catalyst for that word right there. Mm-hmm. Methodist, because the Church of Switzerland, oh, follow me, follow me, and Baptist, right? So we have Anabaptist and Baptist. Check this out. Remember I told you that the serial killer trees had a very distinct pattern to them. What do they got? They had either German or Scandinavian, a recent immigrant ancestor, had a New York, New Jersey connection, they had a Mayflower, those are your Puritans, Massachusetts, Massachusetts, you like my talking today, Massachusetts, Puritans, and Quakers. Watch. And then you have the killers that had short-lived roots. Most of them had either German or Scandinavian. They had a recent immigrant, even if they were here for three, four, five generations, right? Still had that recent immigrant ancestor. And most of them had a tie to New York or New Jersey. Now look at this list again. Remember the markers. What was one of the markers? German or Scandinavian, okay? They all had heavy amounts of Germany. Many of the killers had ancestors that ran through Pennsylvania. That's going to give you Pennsylvania Dutch, Pennsylvania German. Remember that New York, New Jersey connection? Who founded New York? What was the first colony in New York? It was the Dutch colony from the Netherlands, Scandinavian country. Switzerland is going to give you Methodist, which is an off branch of something that this guy was catalyst for. There would later be a second great awakening. So there's this. Then there's some first great awakening that happened, I don't know, in the 1800s or something or earlier. I don't remember. Um, the second great awakening, you've got your Joseph Smiths, your Latter-day Saints, right? Your Mormons, that's what those are. Jehovah Witnesses, founded by a dude who people believe to be a Freemason, like the founder of the Mormons was. Um, but they say, oh, no, 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 he wasn't because his symbolism predated Masonry. What did I say about Martin Luther in the other video? Pre-Masonic, whatever. Oh, probably shouldn't say the word. But you know what I mean? Whatever, there's, it's a big umbrella and they're all under it, right? Did you know that Martin Luther wrote a book three years before he died? Like 60,000 words called On the Jays and Their Lies. And this is the handbook. The play-by-play -play that... The guy who had a mustache here and his buds, you know, these ones right here? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's exactly what that book said, like literally everything that happened in the H. And it all comes to a head with this guy. So what am I saying? I'm saying that all the SKs, that pattern, this, this is what I'm finding. This is their connection that all leads to this guy. We know that Lizzie Borden is a direct descendant of this guy's brother. I'm not saying that SKs are Masons. That's not what I'm saying. There's absolutely, I'm not, I got nothing against anybody who practices these religions. You, you have the freedom of choice. You do you. What I'm thinking to myself is that this guy, more than likely, puts some kind of devilish curse on, you know, his theologies. Hmm? Just like Satan worshippers do on music. They put a spell on the master and then release it. So that's what I'm saying this guy did. I'm saying that this is where the curse started. And then, obviously, it's going to be sins of the Father beyond that. But people unknowingly bringing on to a curse that's allowing demons into their lives, which perpetuates and continues down the line. Obviously, you still have to come into agreement with the demons. But this is where the curse started, with that homie right there. Does that make sense? I mean, this is like...